What's going on everybody? Game Crunch here this morning and I came across some really, really cool news that I'm super excited about. I mean, nothing, I I don't think anything's going to come of it, but it's still super exciting to see. So if you don't, um, if, if you haven't been tuning in as long, uh, a couple months ago I made a video about the closure of the Free Radical Design um, Studio, the makers of Time Splitters and their cancelled Time Splitters game, unfortunately. Um, but it looks like one of the developers on LinkedIn has leaked some of the game footage. So this is really cool to, to see. So let's take a look at this this morning. This is super exciting. So let's uh, take a look at this. I found this on VGC this morning. Um, so it says five minutes of canceled Time Splitters game footage. The internal footage shows how Time Splitters looked uh, basically summer of last year, last summer, 2023. Um, the article itself really just kind of goes over the details of their closure, so there's really no need to do anything there. If you missed it, they basically closed, uh, I believe it was December 12th, um, and their Time Splitters game was then uh, cancelled along with that. So, with this, we've got uh, about five minutes, almost six minutes actually, of gameplay. I have to throw these headphones on just so the audio doesn't leak into the uh, microphone, but I can kind of hear what's going on. So let's take a quick look at this uh, this trailer and watch it together. This is um, I have watched some of it already, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. But let's take a look at this thing together. Let's uh, let's full screen this guy. So this must have been um, for the investors or or something. It looked like it was internal, made last summer. Um, but uh, it looks like they're showing some old footage from this. Looks like Time Splitters Two. Yeah, I think that maps in Time Splitters too. I'm like almost 100% on that. I definitely remember that one. Um, and then this is kind of looking at some of the new visuals. So, I mean, it was looking pretty good. I mean, you could tell a lot of stuff. Look at this. So this is a weird thing. <laughs> that guy in his little thong. Of course, with Time Splitters humor, right? Um, what was I getting at? Oh yeah, yeah, they, it really does kind of um, look like, very much like Fortnite. Like, I, I think that's what they were going for, like a third person. Like, even how it controls, it looks. So you'd almost think, like, take a quick look at this, um, and you'd be like, oh, that's Fortnite. That's not Time Splitters, but that's what they were going for. I mean, overall, the game looks good. You can see there's some, like, clunky stuff happening, um, I kind of noticed um, when I was watching a little bit earlier, um, their legs and whatnot, you know, don't move right, or or when they um, turn, there's no movement of the legs, it's just kind of, uh, they just turn on the spot like, like a doll. Um, but I mean, overall, it, it looks very Fortnite, which is not what I was expecting of, um, of them to come out with. So this is showing some team deathmatch uh, footage here. Now the other thing, being third person, I'm not, um, I'm not a huge third person shooter guy. I've always preferred a first person shooter, but I don't mind third person. I would have definitely preferred if it stayed third person, or maybe it has like the two modes. I don't know. This is all so early in development, but it's actually really cool. They were. It does seem like they're a lot further along than what I thought. Multiple worlds. So this is showing off, I guess, a level 2243. So this is in the future. It must be traveling forward. One thing I did notice, um, and maybe I just wasn't paying attention or I didn't get far enough in the video. I didn't see um, any Sergeant Cortez. I didn't see Cortez at all. They show a lot of footage with this girl who I believe was like, some maiden or something from Time for the Future Perfect. And she had like a zombie version in the multiplayer as well. 1897. So, showing off another level here. This, uh, this character looks very poor, right? <laughs> hiding it. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually, hiding it, girl. <laughs> and even, uh, it looks like they're dropping in. Like Fortnite. You know, watching this back a second time, it actually, uh, it looks very Fortnite, <laughs> almost like, almost like ripoff 
um, level territory here. So, <clears throat> play as a team. So this must be like, oh, <laughs> teams online. I'm gonna light them up. Okay, cool. It mostly shows off multiplayer. We're on your own. Okay. I think there was a part right here. Yeah, see his leg? That was weird. Play it back for a second. That was a weird little... Hang on, one sec. Watch his leg. His back leg does a... <laughs> that's a weird little thing. I remember um, thinking that was weird when I was uh, watching the first time. Well, even with Battle Pass, great. I mean, all games gotta kind of have this these days to kind of uh, to compete. First thing with character, yeah, those very much look like the cartoony sort of uh, graphics that they really had with the first, especially two time splitters. <clears throat> A lot of the artwork and stuff was very uh, comic book, um, you know, sort of exaggerated features and whatnot. All the character models look pretty cool. They look very time, like, um, yeah, time splitters, but also Fortnite at the same time. But I mean, time splitters did have a pretty similar art style to what Fortnite has these days. And I'm, I'm sure in some way or another, time splitters. Nice. Nice. Time splitters would have been uh, some sort of um, inspiration, I guess, for, for Fortnite in some way or another, I'm sure. <clears throat> cool guns. You know, showing them off. They never go for like a hyper realistic look on any other any other game at all. It's all like Fortnite. -y, you know what I mean? Showing off a time crystal. Okay. Loads of attitude. I like this guy in his uh, in his leotard here with the <laughs> with the little kiss on his ass. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, this is. Um, I guess a gameplay snapshot. They must have had to show that off to um, Embracer Group or something at some point to kind of show how their uh, their progress was coming along on the game. Kind of let them know what's happening. But anyway, that was uh, that was the trailer, which is really cool. The chick kind of looks like Ronald McDonald, the way she's uh, set up. But yeah, that was uh, really cool stuff to see that this morning. It's really good to see that um they had a good chunk of the game started at least and uh, it definitely looked like it wasn't in early early development but still had a while to go i just thought that was really cool news and i kind of wanted to uh share that with you guys and and talk about that in a little bit more detail this morning because uh, i'm a huge time splitters fan if you didn't check it out check out my nostalgia series video maybe i'll put it at the end of this video um about time splitters and talking about uh, some fun memories and and times and, and playing the game again um that i did i don't know what was that about six weeks ago so something like that um but anyway thank you very much for watching you can check out the article yourself it's on the vgc uh website i'm sure some other websites have reported on it as well um but anyway we'll catch you next time don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much for watching have a good day take care